Admiral Stephen Hackett, Alliance HQ. Commander Shepard, I need to discuss a sensitive matter with you privately. I'll take this in my quarters. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal.
Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. Who instructed you to waive the fees? The order came from Liara Tassoni, who paid all fees on your behalf. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Customs records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. No, you don't understand! I lost it somewhere near the transport turf. Pardon me, I'm on a call. Sorry, Commando Unit before. Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. You have sources now? A few. Sources, contacts, even a little hired muscle. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you... Well, for the past two years. And now you're back, gunning for the collectors with Cerberus. If you know that, then you know that I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here. Things I need to take care of. What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. What's this all about, Liara? Can't you just talk to me? Don't you think I want to, Shepard? This isn't because I don't trust you. This is Ilium. Anything I say is probably being recorded. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Hello, Commander Shepard. Liara will be pleased to see you. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Someone who needs high quality equipment. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. Is everything here so expensive? I plan to drop a lot of credits today. Really? I'm outfitting a team for a dangerous mission. I need the best and I'm willing to pay for it. As long as you work with me. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small discount. And when I get special items in, you can take a look. I'll have a look around. I'm looking for the best tech upgrades you have.
course. I can help you with a consult and figure... Welcome back. Just so you know, your discount is still good. And I'll let you know about any special items that might hold your interest. What kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know, schematics, designs, nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. I'll have a look around. I need minimal heat increase and speed. I have extremely high performance requirements. Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know, some of them seem dangerous. That's the whole point. Dane? No, she won't even talk to me. I don't know. She really has it in for humans. I might explain the damn contract. Welcome to Baria Frontiers. Our sales kiosk is over there. Nothing to declare? Move along. You're Shepard? I don't know if you remember me. I was a colonist at Zeus Hope on Pharos. You saved us from that enormous Geth attack and from the Thorian creature's control. Too many people died in the fighting for us to save the colony. It's still better than being a slave to the Thorian, though. Where did the survivors go after Zeus Hope shut down? Most of us stayed together and went back to Earth. Run down, but familiar. We needed familiar faces. Exogeny pretty much left us alone. They just left with every bit of Thorian goop they could find. What brings you to Alien? We've had health trouble, probably because of how the Thorian controlled us. We got a deal on some medical tests from a colonial survey group. But the contract had fine print that lets them perform more invasive procedures without our consent. I've talked to the representative, but she won't listen. I think she has a problem with humans. I'll talk to the survey group. Really? Thanks. The sales rep is at the Baria Frontiers kiosk. I saw your conversation, human. 
You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. What's your problem with humans? <sighs> not just humans, it's all of you. The Salarians and Turians are no better. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. I'll talk to you later. Do whatever you like. Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. The Krogan is reading those love poems to get your attention? His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. I'll talk to you later. Are you sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough for Eclipse? Yeah, I've got a friend in Eclipse. She told me what I needed to get. Good. I'm pretty good at bypassing firewalls. For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's horrible. There's a 12-page contract for shipping, then a waiver for use. I charged for 50 hours, plus overtime.
Ms. Larson, I'm glad you've made it. We've had a complication. What happened? Is Ariana all right? She's fine, but you listed a man named Niket as your trusted source. He contacted me, warning that your father has sent Eclipse mercenaries to make a sweep. He suggested that the mercs might be watching for you personally. Keys offered to escort Ariana's family to the terminal instead. You didn't mention anything about Niket. He's a friend. He and I go back a long way. Do you want to bring in any of your other alien contacts, Ms. Lawson? No. You and Niket are the only two I trust on this. What information do you have about the mercenaries? I've confirmed that they're Eclipse, and that they're working for an organization Ms. Lawson warned us about. I could try to alert the authorities, but so far they've done nothing illegal. You made the right decision. We'll handle this ourselves. It's your sister, Miranda. What do you want to do? Lantea, we'll follow Niket's suggestion. Shepard and I will take the car and draw their attention. Have Niket escort the family to the shuttle. Give him full access to the family's itinerary, just to be safe. Understood, Ms. Lawson. So the plan is for us to get shot down by Eclipse while your sister gets to safety? Eclipse will be under orders to take my sister alive. They won't risk anything that could kill us. I'm ready whenever you are, Miranda. Thank you, Shepard. I appreciate this. I hadn't planned on Eclipse, but they never planned on you. Damn it! Eclipse mercenary gunships. They'll be dropping troops in the cargo areas. Put us down in that cover behind them. Let's hope they really do want to take us alive. <laughs> I said, hold fire, damn it! I got this. Since you're not firing yet, I trust you know who I am. Yeah, they said you'd be in the car. You're the bitch that kidnapped our boss's little girl. Kidnapped? This doesn't involve you. I suggest you take your men and go. Think you've got it all lined up, huh? Captain Inyala's already moving in on the kid. She knows about Niket. He won't be helping you. This is more complex than I thought. Maybe if we talk about this... We're wasting time. They're just trying to delay us. Captain Inyala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. When I say the word, we unleash hell on your squad. So I suggest you walk away nicely, unless you want things to get up. I've got one of their radios. I'll patch us in, see if I can get an idea of what we're up against. Shepard, I think I owe you an explanation. Ariana is my twin, genetically. But my father 
outgrew her when I was a teenager. She was meant to replace me. I couldn't let my father do to her what he did to me. So I rescued her. She's almost a woman now. Why didn't you tell me that we were saving a kid? She's not a child. She'll be 19 this year. But, well, it didn't seem relevant at the time, I suppose. There are people who'd use her against me. I'm very protective when it comes to Oriana. I'm sorry I didn't trust you sooner. You deserved to know. Sounds like your friend Niket might be in some trouble. If they've got to Niket somehow, this is going to be harder than I'd planned. According to the specs I reviewed, we'll need to cut through the cargo processing yard to get to Oriana. Let's go find Niket and Oriana. Right. valuable.
operatives have attempted to delay you by disabling the elevators. I am overriding your lockdown. Maybe the captain knows we're listening in and she's feeding misinformation about Niket making a switch. Or maybe it means something else. Niket wouldn't do that. Damn it, why won't the thing go any faster? We won't know anything until we find Niket. And then I'll have a word with this captain and Yala. Authorization to change their booking. I'm sorry, sir. We're under security lockdown. Until the situation in the cargo terminal is resolved, no passengers can be rebooked. This isn't worth my time, Niket. I get paid regardless of how the girl gets there. No. I was told that I could handle this my way. We're not traumatizing the family any more than we. This should be fun. <laughs> Niket, you sold me out. How do you want to handle this, Miranda? Why, Niket? You were my friend. You helped me get away from my father. Yes, because you wanted to leave. That was your choice. But if I'd known that you'd stolen a baby, I didn't steal her, I rescued her. From a life of wealth and happiness? You weren't saving her. You were getting back at your father. If you're working for Miranda's father, that means he knows about Oriana. We need to find a new solution. Miranda's father has no information about Oriana. I knew you had spy programs in your father's system, Miri, so I kept it private. I'm the only one who knows. Which means that you're the only loose end. This isn't how I wanted it to end, Niket. I'm going to miss you. Miranda, wait. You don't want to do this. This has to end here, Shepard. My father will keep trying to find Oriana. Maybe Niket can help. Talk to your father. Just say you got here first. Oh, I'll tell him that you hit her. That I don't know where she is. I never want to see you again, Niket. <laughs> Done. Now, if you don't mind, I have a shipment to deliver. You'll die for that, bitch! Smokes near the shuttle. I want to make. I can't believe Niket sold me out. I didn't even see it coming. 
Even with all your upgrades, you're human, just like the rest of us. But I let it get personal, and I screwed up. Why didn't you let me kill him? I could have handled that. But watching him get gunned down by that Asari bitch... You still cared for him, even if he betrayed you. You're right. And my father knew it. He used that against me. It's always been like this. My father gave me anything I ever wanted. But there was always a hook, an angle for his long-term plan. I threw away everything he ever gave me when I ran. Except Niket. Weakness on my part. You can't toss aside everything you care about just to be safe. It's okay, Shepard. My father hurt me, but he didn't break me. As much as he tried to turn me into exactly what he wanted, I'm my own person. You still have Orion. My father didn't give her to me. I rescued her, but yes, you're right. I still have something. Thank you. No sign of Eclipse. It looks like we're clear. There she is. She's safe. With her family. Come on, we should go. Don't you even want to say hello? It's not about what I want, it's about what's right for her. The less she knows about me, the better. She's got a family. A life. I'll just complicate that for her. She doesn't need any details. But would it really be so bad for her to know she has a sister who loves her? I guess not. Go on. We'll wait here. Shepard, it's... so, what can I do for you? I know you're looking for the Shadow Broker. Cerberus gave me data Absolutely. on where Absolutely. I have... It looks like a leaked transmission between Shadow Broker operatives. Some hints as to the location and... It's about Farron. He's still alive. Who's Farron? He was a friend. He helped me recover your body from the Shadow Broker. Why did the Shadow Broker want my corpse? He was going to sell you to the Collectors, but Farron and I stopped him. Farron sacrificed himself to save me. So you rescued me. Then how did I end up with Cerberus? Well, they gave me intel to help recover you. They actually put Farron with me in the first place. After I got out, I gave you to them. They said they could bring you back. You kept me out of the Collector's hands. Without you, I couldn't have come back. Thank you. I didn't know how you'd feel when Cerberus restored you. If you'd feel betrayed, or... They brought you back, 
And now they're giving me a chance to find Farron. After two years, I hadn't even dreamed. Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. What's the next step? I... I don't know. I need to prepare to think. I'm going home. Use my terminal if you need any local intel. You okay? I've spent two years plotting revenge. Now I have the chance to make it a rescue. Let me help. I'll come by your apartment. Okay. Hopefully I'll have a plan by then. Thank you, Shepard. Commander, a pleasure to see you again. Can I help you with something? Thank you. Have a pleasant visit, Notes Astra, Commander. Jack would like to talk with you. I saw the reports on Horizon Command. What you did was amazing. The report mentioned that Ashley Williams was there. How did that go? It was good to see her. Do you have strong feelings for her? We had a job to do and we did it. I understand. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? That'll be all. What's this area of the ship? This is main engineering, which contains the ship's main fusion plant and Mass Effect core. Tight little group you got here, and a pretty nice ship. You'd be rich if you took to piracy, but you wouldn't. I can't figure you, Shepard. Doesn't matter. I've got to talk to you about something. I'd like to ask you a few things. Later. I have to talk to you now. I got thoughts, like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop them. You know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes? I'll listen to anything you have to say, Jack. Your pal, the elusive man? Never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments, drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some superbiotic. The doctors, the other kids, every one of them hated me. 
they let me suffer. You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility? I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out, mess with someone's head enough and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. Fucking idiots. Sounds like they've done a serious 180 since those days. I'm not trying to convince you of something, Shepard. I don't care what they're doing now. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton facility on Pravia where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place, my cell. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb, and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. Our mission is the priority. If we have time, we'll go there. Don't wait too long. I need to do this soon. I need it. Thanks again, Shepard. Taking the time to help me with my sister. I couldn't have reached Ariana in time without your help. I'm glad Niket tried to redeem himself. For what good it did. Thank you for stopping me, Commander. Are you happy about your sister's relocation? She has what I wanted her to have. A normal life, and the freedom to choose her own path. And she knows she has an older sister. A friend. It's funny, I think of you as all business. Good to see that there's a person under there. The mission's too important to let personal feelings interfere. But thank you, Commander. My sister is safe again thanks in large part to you. I won't forget that. The Commander has put together an impressive team. I've never worked with so many aliens before. I hope we can clear up what's going on with the Gurns back, Commander. Doubt my father's alive after all this time. Was there anything else? Just eager to get going. Like I said, if we don't... Let me know when you want that, Commander. We'll talk later. Commander.
of your remains. I have detected an anomaly. Jenna, distress. MSV Hugo Guards launched. Registration BW. Scans have found something. There it is, and mostly intact. It could have survived impact, but it's been years. Looks like it was stripped after the crash. They'd have tried to get a beacon up as soon as possible. Along with repeat toxology alert. From the look of it, this beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. Eight years, 237 days, seven hours. Pause is recorded as record deleted by acting captain Ronald Taylor. That's not right. My father was first officer. Ronald Taylor was promoted under emergency command protocols, other flagged issues, unsafe deceleration, local food and neural decay, beacon activation protocols. Who's in command of this ship? Where are the survivors? Captain Harris Fairchild reported killed following unscheduled suborbital descent. First Officer Ronald Taylor promoted infield to acting captain. But where is he now? The location of the remaining crew of the Hugo Gernsback is unknown. This beacon has been unattended for several maintenance cycles. Come on, let's get going. Let's check the ship. My father had the beacon for almost nine years. Maybe that neural decay affected. Avoiding it for a decade seems unlikely. You came from the sky? The leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith. The hunters, they will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. What are you talking about? You're not making sense. Uh, I, I don't remember how to say it. He's our leader and we serve so we can go home. 
some want to fight him. They were, they were cast out. He exiled them, so they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue will come. Hunters, they won't stop until the leader is dead. Kill them! Agents of the liar! He will not escape! We've been spun. <laughs> Settlement? They better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers. They're clearly docile, but in the same uniform remnants as those who attacked us. There aren't any men here. Maybe it affects genders differently. Makes males get violent? Possibly, but the woman on the beach said the exiled ones came back as hunters. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat, to decay. You are cursed with his face. Not the best reaction to the family resemblance, Jacob. Why would my father force his crew to eat toxic food? Look at these spoiled food stores. They've been eating only that toxic local food for who knows how long. He keeps us, protects us. The hunters will kill you. They fight because he exiled them and waited too long. Your captain demands obedience. Our forbidden. <laughs> Patrols like that are a little much against this bunch. Please! You have his face, but you fight his machines. You might stop this. This, I forget how to read, but this was the start. What he promised and what they did to us. We need the sky. Take us back to the sky. Jacob, what does it say? It's a crew logbook. Some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. It wasn't command material and it got to him. Couldn't keep the crew in line without violence. It didn't stop there. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle or toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women, assigned them to officers like pets. And after the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After, my father took control and didn't stop it. Do you see an explanation for this? He's your father. Is he? None of this fits. Maybe the initial decision, but the rest? Abuse of power doesn't get any clearer than this. I need to find this man. This is Captain Ronald Taylor. I think you have here. 
old corpse has been posed, like a warning. The new ones were left where they fell. The hunters started fighting back. Incoming! I put him down! He had plenty of choices. Still late to blame his victims. Here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've gotta have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Commander Shepard of the Normandy. I believe you're acquainted with Mr. Taylor. Taylor? Jacob? No. Not Jacob. Why not me? Would ten years of this look better to anyone else in the galaxy? You have to understand. This isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. I'm not biting, Captain. At some point, you chose to do this to your crew. You. What was that moment? I want to know that there was an actual reason. There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance, like an instinct. Pure authority was easy, at first. 
Month's end. The effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial. Rank, protocol, they couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. There's no way I'm letting this slide, Taylor. A price will be paid. How much? What kind of math can balance these lives? His life isn't worth pulling the damn trigger. I don't know who you are, because you're not any father I remember. We'll secure him for an alliance court. For every year here, he'll have ten to think about it. Give him all the time in the galaxy. The man who did this doesn't know right from wrong. I'm sorry, Jacob. I did the best I could. I'm ten years past believing that. Give him the tail lights. Roger that. What do you mean it wasn't you? Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Nothing goes through this ship, my ship, without a report to you. I had no more reason to believe Jacob's father was alive than he did, but I'm happy to know the situation is behind you. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Figures. Who else could get into Cerberus channels? It was hardly classified, just obscure. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor can rot in prison. It doesn't change who I am or what I know. I've already mourned the man he used to be. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. Come on. We've got work to do. Aye, Commander. Shepard. Thanks for the help. Anytime, Jacob. Thanks for diverting to the Gurns back, Shepard. I appreciate being able to clean up that mess. And don't worry, it will not affect how I do my job. It's over. We'll talk later. Commander. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal.
tapping into Blue Sun's communications. Stay tight and look out for ambushes. Squad Bravo, a shuttle landed near your location. Check it out. Here we go. Keep close. Shot in the back and left to rot. That's definitely Vito's style. Let's push ahead. Sounds like he hasn't changed. I get the feeling you have a past with this Vito. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. The Suns only got meaner after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So yeah, we have a past. 20 years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? Vito turned my men against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For 20 years, I've seen that bastard every time I closed my eyes, every time I sighted down on a target, every time I heard a gunshot. Don't you call that a goddamn grudge? Why didn't anyone tell me you founded the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books, I led the men. Worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. God, I'm terrorists, I said. We'd better get moving. They're at the southern axis. All squads mass at the gatehouse. Now! They know we're here. Bring it on, you son of a bitch! Zaid Masani, you finally tracked me down. Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are again. What was that? Got nearsighted, old friend. Burn, you son of a bitch. You just signed your death warrant, Masani. What the hell are you doing? Opening the gate. You don't sacrifice lives for the sake of the mission. There's always a better way. Like what? Wandering out in the jungle for hours looking for another way in. 
If you want to waste time out here, go ahead. I'm gonna kill Vito. You're endangering lives, and the mission for your own selfish revenge. You really want to do this, Shepard? I had to knock you the hell out. But thanks to you, we have a burning refinery to save. Let these people burn. Vito dies, whatever the cost. Vito's wounded. How fast could he be? Vito's smart. We stop to help these people, and he'll use this time to get away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. Let's get moving before Vito gets away. Glad you see it my way. No! 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 this.
Black Shield. years ago. Look at you. I did you a favor. Saeed, please. I'm gonna die here, man. Do something. Try, you son of a bitch. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Commander, can I help you with something? Any thoughts on how to prepare? Like I said, if we don't have... Let me know when you want that, Commander. We'll talk later. Commander. Shepard, important news. Know you're busy. Have to deal with the collectors. Planning attack. Too important to wait. Just receiving data. Still processing, analyzing likely scenarios. Not sure how to begin. Too much intel. You remember our talk? My work on genophage modification? You stopped the Krogan adaptation to the genophage. Part of a team. Scientists, all different types. Blood pack mercenaries captured former team member. Malin, last seen on Tuchanka, might torture him, make an example. Recovering Malin would be a personal favor to me. We'll go to Tachanka and see if we can find your team member. Appreciate it. My assistant, my student, want to see him safe. Malin last seen outside Erdnot territory. Scouts might have seen Blood Pack. Talk to them or Clan Chief. Chambers said you're tearing up the place. Something wrong? Something is wrong, Shepard. I feel wrong, tense. I just want to kill something with my hands. More so than usual, like it's not my choice. Like I just want to, I don't know. <laughs> See, why do that? What's wrong? Okir didn't imprint anything to help you figure this out? I see pictures of old battles, voices of warlords. But this is a blood haze in my head. I want control. When we're moving, fighting, I focus. But here, my blood screams, my plates itch, and even you are just noise. I'm tank-born. What is this? Don't know if I can help, Grunt. Sounds like we need one of your kind to look into this. Most off-world Krogan are warriors. 
doctors don't leave the homeworld to Janka. I won't ask you to go there. I will control this. Joker can get us to the Krogan homeworld. I need everyone at their best. Thank you, Shepard. I don't like this. Fury is my choice, not a sickness. Thank you.